Hey guys, my mom's over here. You know what's funny? I enjoy talking about phones and everything they can do. Hey, I just made a video recently about phones that did things first, but I have never discussed what the first smartphone ever was. This seems like a big oversight, even sacrilege. So with that said, buckle up and let's talk about the first ever smartphone. But first, as usual, if you learn something new, if I can make a chuckle before the end of this video, if you like how I'm rocking, or if you just like my vibe, then go ahead, like, and subscribe. And while you're at it, hit the little bell icon too, turn those notifications away. Ding! You know when I upload something new. Side note, I'm an expert and I'm just sharing what I learned from various sources so you don't have to read all of that yourself. But if you really want to, I will leave the links down in the description below. It's up to you. Now, IBM, yes, the computer company, changed the world when it unveiled the very first smartphone ever in 1992. That means I was two years old when the first smartphone was unveiled. Yes, I am old. Yes, you probably have jokes. Put them in the comments. Thank you. Okay, now back to it. At this point, cell phones in general have been around for a while. Back in 1984, the OG Motorola Dynatac 8000X was released. This big boy was a cell phone through and through, allowing for on-the-go communication. But when he ain't in at three pounds, he definitely got a nice workout trying to use it. Now, when it launched, it cost an eye-watering $4,000. And yeah, I rounded up a little bit to, to exaggerate. Uh, it actually cost $3,995. Gotta be precise. And then in 1992, as I said, the IBM company unveiled the first smartphone, the IBM Simon. Now, while IBM did in fact design the Simon, Mitsubishi Electric was the company that manufactured the device. And believe it or not, this dinosaur had a freaking touchscreen. Not gonna lie, that is actually super impressive. Now, between August 16, 1994 and February 1995, IBM sold 50,000 IBM Simons. And that may not sound like a lot, especially when compared to the number Samsung and Apple do. But at this time, the device cost $1,099. $1, now, that was the outright price for the Simon. So even all the way back in 1994, the top-of-the-line smartphones cost $1,000 plus. It seems history is indeed cyclical. Now, you could get a discount if you opted for a two-year contract. Remember those? For telling yourself to bail sales cellular for two years, you can get the Simon for $899, which is still pretty steep. The device was initially only available in 15 states, so maybe that's why Bell Sales charged so much for it. Uh, of course, if potential buyers opted to wait a while before buying it, they could get it for $599, with a two-year contract, of course. <laughs> so what did you get for all that money? So the Simon could do a decent amount. It could make and receive calls, obviously. That would defeat the point if it couldn't. Uh, the device could also send and receive faxes. I haven't sent a fax in years. It could also send and receive emails, which is par for the course with smartphones. You also could get cellular pages. So basically, it was a giant beeper as well. Those are already big, though. You also had some built-in applications. These included the address book, calendar, appointment schedule, calculator, world clock, electronic notepad, and handwritten annotations. Yes, this thing from the early 90s had handwriting capabilities and a standard predictive stylus. Get a move, Apple. Seriously, though, a stylus for the iPhone Pro Max devices would be clutch. And on top of all of this, you can even download third-party applications by downloading it directly to the device or inserting a PC MCIA card. Don't know what that is. This thing was well ahead of its time. I will find out what that is for you guys, though. And there we have it, the IBM Simon, the first ever smartphone which paved the way for the future devices like the iPhone, Samsung Galaxy devices, Pixels, and more. Now, look, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Matter of fact, if you made it this far, I truly appreciate you. And since you're still here, do me a favor. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something new, if I made you chuckle before this end, before this point, or if you just like my vibe, go ahead, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon too to turn those notifications away. Ding! You know when I upload something new. And please let me know what you think about this video down in the comments below so I can improve. And don't forget to check out over here for more to watch. Other than that, this has been Normal Consumer. I'll catch you guys in the next one.